Hello friends, so welcome again to yet another session on real numbers. Having seen uh, Euclid's division algorithms, geometrical interpretation, and, uh, uh, and having understood the meaning of greatest common divisor and or um, highest common factor, and also understanding co-primes, now it's time to find out a way to uh, determine the GCD of any two positive integers. So in today's session, we are going to learn the way of finding GCD, GCD of, GCD of two positive, positive integers, integers, GCD of two positive integers using Euclid's, Euclid's division algorithm division algorithm and Euclid's division algorithm friends is dependent on Euclid's another very famous contribution to mathematics or number theory which was Euclid's Euclid's division Euclid's division lemma so what was Euclid's division lemma Euclid's division lemma said that if there are two numbers a and b two numbers again I mean two positive integers a and b so a can be expressed as b q plus r where q and r are unique q and r are unique integers unique positive integers unique positive integers for for every pair of every for every pair of every pair of a and B for every pair of A and B and another condition was uh, 0 is less than equal to R less than B this was Euclid's division lemma so we will be using this division lemma to find out GCD which we also explained in our previous video where we used geometric interpretation of Euclid's division algorithm now for this uh, we will go first with examples and then we'll try to prove uh, the method using a particular theorem later on. So first let us find out GCD of our two numbers 30 and 42 which we found out using the geometrical interpretation. If you remember, if you have not seen that video, I would recommend you please go to our previous video where we had explained how to find out GCD of 30 and 42 using Euclid's division algorithm but through uh, geometrical method. Now. So here, what is my A? So A is clearly the bigger of the two, that is 42, and B is 30. Okay, let's now try and find out the uh, GCD using the algorithm. So let us put 42 here. So this is 42, and 42 is equal to, let's say B value is 30. So let us find out the Q value. Now Q is clearly 40, 30 into 1 because 30 into 2 will be 60 which is more than 42. So hence 30 goes 1 times into 42 and hence the remainder is 12. This is the first step. So if you remember, if you see, we express 42 and 30 using Euclid's division lemma where Q is 1 and R is 12 which is clearly less than 30, the B. Okay. Now what you need to do is you have to shift you have to shift 30 now the b the first b goes to a that means 30 comes here so i will put 30 here and 30 equals to n and this r comes into b's position so 12 you keep 12 here okay and then multiply so how many times does 12 go into 30 two times because 12 into 2 is 24 which is less than 30 12 into 3 is 36 which is more than 30 so hence 12 into 2 okay and then what will be the remainder remainder will be 6 right 12 into 2 24 plus 6 30 so this is how it is now again check is the remainder 0 the remainder is not equal to 0 so hence we will repeat the process how so now the new b will become new a the previous b sorry will become the new a so hence you are, this is the new a 12 and the previous r will become the new b okay so this is 6 now how many times does 6 go into 12 so 2 times 
so 6 into 12 6 into 2 is 12 and then remainder is 0 so did we did we uh, arrive at 0 yes we arrived at 0 hence the moment we arrive at 0 as remainder the uh, the divisor on in that step becomes my gcd so if you see 6 is the 6 is the gcd here so hence we can write gcd of 42 comma 30 is 6 okay guys let us take another example to understand it better so in this case we have two integers 81 and 24 where a is 81 so how do we decide which one is uh, a and which one is b so the bigger of the two will become a first so let me put 81 here and now this is equal to b b is what 24 now how many times does 24 go into 81 so 24 twos are 48 3 times 24 is 72 and 4 times is 96 so clearly i'll have to take 24 into 3 which is 72 and then what is the remainder so if you see remainder is 9 isn't it so 24 into 3 is 72 plus 9 gives me 81 so what's the next step next step is the previous step b becomes the a so 24 comes here now and the previous step r so this was previous step r 9 so 9 comes to b's position and repeat the process so hence now 9 into 2 is 18 and 9 into 3 is 27 so hence it will be 2 here so 9 into 2 is 18 18 plus 6 is 24 now do we get 0 as the remainder finally no so repeat the process so 9 comes to a's position and 6 comes to b's position so 6 into 1 is 6 plus 3 is the remainder 0 no repeat the process 6 goes to 9's position so 6 is here and r goes to b's position here so 3 into 2 is plus now we get 0 so finally we ended up getting 0 as the remainder. So hence, what will be the GCD? The GCD is nothing but the moment you get 0 in that step, whatever is the value of B, whatever is the value of B is the GCD. So what should I write? I should write GCD of, of 81, 24 is 3. Okay. So this would be the highest common factor or GCD of 24 and 81. This is how for any given two pair of integers, you can find the GCD by Euclid's division algorithm. So finally, and what is the last uh, terminating step? The moment you get zero as the remainder in that step, whatever is the value of divisor, that becomes the highest common factor or greatest common divisor. Hope you understood the uh, process I would recommend you to take some random pairs of integers and do it for yourself and if you see if two numbers are co prime actually it will be the GCD will come out to be one so I would recommend you to take these cases as practice problems and try and understand how algorithm or Euclid's division algorithm works for finding GCD of any two positive integers thank you for watching this video